because I thought I had to make this video because I got something to show you. Would you looky here? It's a 1944 S double die. Wexler's 19440 S W D D O O one. I can't believe I found it, but we'll go over it here. I'll get a pointer stick here. Bear with me a second. I guess I wasn't completely ready to do this. Where are my pointer sticks? I'm starting to my desk is starting to Remind me of Ken when he does a show. Can't never find nothing. Well, where the heck did they go? Oh, man. I don't want to use that because I don't want to scratch it. Bear with me, guys. There they are. I found them. Okay. Unfortunately, I have a hard time when I share pages, so you're going to have to trust me on this. But if you look at this right here, oops, yeah, there I go moving it. So right there, that little tail sticking out there on the floor, on Wexler's, that's one of the pictures. That's the first pictures that shows. Um, copper coins, it's 1944 S1D0001. And a Konica, it's 1-0-V-1. So, that was the first indicator. I've seen that, and I'm like, okay, there's something going on with this coin. We need to look into it. So, I started digging. So, then we go to the second picture on Wexler's site, and it shows the other four. And it shows this. Uh, I keep moving it. This extra, I'm not very good at this. This extra material right here, the little tail. A little break out there in front of it okay and then we go over to Liberty and if we look at the B there now the Liberty on this isn't quite as distinctive as the pictures they have but you can tell it's there it's got the the arch in the back of the B there and a little extra material um, it's definitely there you know you can see it and the RTY, the bigger bigger side of the Y. And the T, when you look at the T on this one, the shape is identical. The shape and the break in that T is identical to the one on Wexler's. The R, it matches up just fine. And then we go up to the God to look for our die indicators. So on this one, it's really kind of hard to see. It took me a little bit to find it. But right in there, there is a small die gouge that I did find. It's worn, but you can find it on this one. And then we go over to here, above the date, outside of the ribbon. So we're right in here. And right here is a little die gouge also that's an indicator. And then we go right down here, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you see these little lines right here, die gouge lines, die scratches, whatever you want to call them, that's also an indicator. And then if we flip it over... We go up here to the O and the N. There is supposed to be a die gouge right here between the O and the N. But it, this one's so worn, I just really can't tell that one out. But if we go down to the United States, if you look right there, coming off the S right at the top of the toothpick there, at the pointer, that little die gouge coming right off there, is one of the die gouges that indicates that this is that coin. So guys, I am totally amazed I actually found one of these. This is my very first true double die I found. Well, I've found some other ones, but we have yet to 
get them authenticated um, through Konica. We're working on that after the first of the year when things slow down a little bit. Um, I'm going to pull up the page here real quick, guys. Bear with me. So how's everybody's Christmas going? Hopefully it's going good by this time. Um, some of you folks, well, it's one, two, three, four, so it's four o'clock, five o'clock, some places. So some of you will be getting this notification right out of the gate. Where is that place? New Numus Medius Online Fair Value. We're going to pull up that page and see if we can't find this coin in here. Let's see, how do we do a search? Uh, let's see, so we go here. First time I've ever been to this page, so we're going to see if we can't find this. Halves, gold coins, dollars, halves, quarters, oh, I see. Dimes, nickels, cents, large cents, flying cents, Indian cents, Lincoln cents, modern cents, proof cents. 1909 to 1933. Modern Lincoln cents, 1934 to current. So let's go in here. Uh, let's go find 1944. Oh, these are just for. Oh, maybe this doesn't have. This is just regular. Oh. So let's look up a 1944F. DDD 43S bronze. Nope. 44D over S. 44S brown. I would say this one's probably red. MS 63 at 633. But this is a double die. So let's go to. YouTube and we're going to search this 1944 S double die. No, not YouTube, eBay. Sorry, <laughs> it's late. I just got off work. There, now we're going to the right place. We're at seven minutes. We still got a bit, little bit. We're going to 1944 S double die. Double die obverse. And see what we can find by looking that up. See if there's any listed on eBay. 1943S, 71S, 70S, 40S, 69S, 43S, steel cent, 69, 70, 43, 43, 71, 72, 43, 71, 71, 71, 42, 72, I don't see a 44 in here, guys. 44 asphalt, that's a quarter. Okay, so let's go refine this search. Come on, get back. Penny. Let's see if we can get it closer that way. 1944S. Stop it. There's one right here. 1944S. Lincoln Wheat Penny. Cent. Double die verse error. Free shipping. $15. So that's a $15 coin, guys. So let's look at his picture here. I'm going to pull it up here, guys. We're going to take a closer look at it and see if that's actually it.
You know, that one's a little bit worse. But it is the same coin. I think mine's in better shape. So it could be worth more than that. So there you go, guys. So that would be one of my better finds for 2017. So thought I'd share it. Kind of excited about it. Kind of jacked. I finally found something really cool. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Remember, like, share, subscribe. All the good stuff.